Hey, folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Peep Show. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic day and a great Halloween. Um, if you guys don't know this, this is Tay's favorite holiday. Unfortunately, with everything going on, there's some restrictions to, like, what we can do and, like, how much stuff has been canceled, what have you. So, we're just going to a buddy's house. He's having a really small get-together there. And then we're going to be meeting up with my niece and nephews who are done doing, like, this social distancing, like, trunk trick-or-treating or something like that. And then we're going to watch some, like, Halloween movies here. And then when it's time for them to hit the hay, they're going to head home. And then Tay and I are going to, like, watch, uh, finish a night off with some of Tay's, like, favorite, like, uh, horror Halloween movies. And then maybe some pizza or something like that. So, that's what we have planned. Um, curious what you guys have planned for Halloween or if you even care about Halloween. I know some people don't even care about it. Or, um, it's just another day to them. If, it, if honestly, if, if, if Tay and I weren't together, it'd be more, really just another day for me. I'd probably have, like, my niece and nephews over or something like that for them to, like, watch movies or what have you. Buy them some candy and that'll be it. So... But yeah, Tay loves it. So if you guys love it, I'd like to know what you guys are doing for Halloween today. If you guys got a, there's a get together or, or what's going on. All right, folks, man, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Another hard day, eh, Jez? Watching kids' TV and eating kids' cereal. All oh, right, what should I be having? Gentleman's relish with olives. Anyway, crunchy nut cornflakes are just frosties for wankers. Yeah, well, frosties are just cornflakes for people who can't face reality. What am I going to do, Jez? Feels like she's slipping through my fingers. Have you told her you love her? Are you kidding? That's like firing first in a duel. If you miss, you're fucked. No, no, mate. Saying I love you puts you in the driving seat. Sometimes I tell them I love them early on on a first date just to get things off to a good start. Doesn't that devalue it a bit? No, maybe a bit. Who cares? It works. Aren't you going to open your purse? If it works. What? No, it's boring. You may have won this, you may owe us that. Who cares? You'd be the first to admit that you're not a very logical thinker. No, I wouldn't. You still don't properly understand what happens in Ocean's Eleven, do you? It's a complicated film. It really isn't. Anyway, I'd probably find jury service pretty simple, because whoever it is, I'll just let them off. Jeremy, don't try and upset me. It's probably some young <laughs> black kid who's been accused of stealing a bun, and I'm going to set him free. Don't you think you should wait till you hear the details? That's what they want you to do, hear the details and confuse you. I'm definitely going to acquit. <laughs> So listen up, guys. I'm looking to shake up the department, and I want you two to be my enforcers. Hmm? My Cheech and Chong, my Skinner and Bedeal. You'll be the iron fists inside my velvet glove. The spiky balls on the end of my stick. Yeah? Nice. Come on, guys. This yes. is extra. Now, remind me, which one of you two is balling Sophie right now? Uh, he is. Well, theoretically. <laughs> uh, Patrick tells me she's not getting on all that well in Bristol. Really? If she gets fired and everything goes wrong, I'll be there to pick up the pieces. Apparently, she called Colin Cooper a dickhead. <laughs> well, Damn. he is a dickhead. Yeah, well, the point is, someone's got to talk to him. Mark, maybe you could have a word. Get her to clean up her act. Unofficial verbal warning. Is that cool? Oh, OK, sure. Bollocks. <laughs> That'd be a difficult call. Or might be oh, good. Kiddo. Tell her I love her, then before it gets too soppy, hit her with the disciplinary matters. It's credit card fraud. And it's a woman, six counts, four in the Nescliffe area, two in Cosford. Credit card flawed? Nescliffe? A woman? Oh, my God, this is incredible. Oh, sure, it sounds incredible for the first three hours. Mark is such a dork. God, it's boring. Are you guilty? Blah, blah, blah. Well, it's a joke. She's obviously guilty. She's the guilty type. She looks shifty. Shifty? Yeah, you know, the type. Dressed up all nice for court, but wouldn't look out of place with a can of strong lager and an incredibly cheap fag in her mouth. I thought you were going to acquit. She's white. <laughs> Plus, I was talking to another jury bloke, and he thinks Come the on, same. Dude. I think we're all thinking the same, basically. You know, no smoke without fire. No smoke without fire? Is that what a thousand years of the English judicial system comes down to? No smoke without fire? Mark, relax. She's going down. And if she didn't do it, so what? She's the type. She'd probably just do something else. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> ah, soup. Lovely. Of course, I, I miss you too. Although, tonight, you, you do know it's Thursday. Oh, yeah, I'll just... Oh, OK. Johnson's right. She's dangerously out of control. So I'll come over to yours about seven-ish. Oh, this is going to be great. Brilliant. Bye. Shit. Bottled it. Tell her tonight after chicken and wine and Sarah Lee. Maybe I could get some chocolate flavour condoms. I might be more relaxed if we both regarded my penis as a novelty item. Yeah, it's going to go for Oh, that jury. It's so, to be honest, it's nice to get away from the jury. They're so boring. All they want to talk about is the case. Yeah? What they're saying about it then? Shit. Uh, oh, yeah. Just, uh, we all think you're innocent. Really? Dude. That's wicked. Just sugar the pill a bit. I know we probably shouldn't do this, but what's your name? 
Jeremy. Pleased to meet you. I'm Carla. What about that judge, the way? Oh, God, yeah. He's so judgmental. I rule this, I rule that. Hey, that would be a good name for him. Judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell you what. I plead guilty to wanting a mochaccino. Objection! Overruled! This isn't wrong, <laughs> just illegal. Yeah. Like drink driving. Oh, should we take a vote? All those who think she's guilty raise a hand. They can't send her down, they don't know her. I don't know her. But I do fancy her. Uh, yeah, I just don't think she is that guilty. I mean, I think there is a reasonable doubt. Yeah. 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 I'm in 12 Angry Men. I'm the only one who's not angry. I'm horny. That's much nicer. What's funny? Oh, nothing. Doesn't matter. Is it something to do with the case? Uh, yeah, it is. Kind of. Yeah? What's going on? It's really... Honestly, it's nothing. Did the uncle show up? They haven't found the missing security tape from Ryman's. No, no, it's nothing like that. She's definitely innocent. Is she? Why? What came out? What happened? No, no, nothing came out. It's just... I got to know her a bit, and it's obvious she wouldn't do something uh, like that. You've got to know her a bit. Yeah. We bumped into each other. We've been texting. We're going to go out for a drink. For God's sake, Jeremy, you're not supposed to speak to the defendant. It's against the law. Oh, right, so suddenly I can't go out drinking with the defendant. Well, why not? Well, I suppose people might think it would make you less impartial if you're trying to bone the woman you're meant to be judging. Oh, that is typical. Jeremy can't be trusted to judge the woman he's sleeping with, but... but Tony Blair can, yeah? Jez, it's contempt of court. Look, Mark, I'm a musician, in case you'd forgotten. Yeah? I answer to a higher law. The law of, if it feels good, do it. Oh, that's a great law, isn't it? What's that? Gaddafi's law? It's the musician's law. The Sofster! Sophistry! Oh, no, he told him. He knew, you should have knew he wasn't going down with Soph, it. Soph! Great to see you. Hi, Mark. So good to see you. How Ooh, are yeah. you, big lovely? This is lovely Dom. Hiya. Uh, hi, Dom. R really great to meet you. Oh, great. Dom. And I suppose Dom's going to have sex with Sophie while I film it on my camera phone. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's me. Oh, sorry, I'm really going to have to take this. Hi. Hey. He's it's... obviously gay. My God, I actually have gaydar. Is he going? I hope he's going. Shutting the door might be a bit aggressive if he's not. Trapped all night with the homos and the criminals. <laughs> like prison, but without even the privacy of my own cell. Oh my god. Perhaps <laughs> ask to say you're gay. What? Oh my god. You've been here before, mate. You're gay, pal. Lie. Say yes. Say yes. No. No, I, I, I'm not. God. Sorry. I, I mean, I did once have this thing with a... I had these feelings, but it was complicated. It was more of a sort of atmosphere, nothing uh -huh. ever really... Johnson. I mean, sexuality is a sort of a spectrum, isn't it, rather than a, a black and... Go on. Fuck off. <laughs> in you go. Oh, thanks. Great. Oh there God. are a lot of gay guys in there tonight. Great. Oh, my God. Oh, Mark. What? You think you're irresistible? People... Men have looked at me. Yeah, well, just don't go over into that corner. Because that's where the guys who like straight acting tubby homophobes hang out. <laughs> Have a drink, everybody. Hey! hey. Oh, it's um. That isn't. Is that your name? Oh yeah, it's a second marriage. A bit complicated. Oh right. Oh my god. The old uh, magic card. Well, you might think that, but I couldn't possibly comment. Mark, I had an amazing time. You'll love it. I want you to love it. It'll be a special night. Yes. Of course, sure. Take I'm a photo. It's a drug. They've got a nice floaty launch with a soft, crunchy landing. Now for a special night, you have to have Class A drugs and fisting. This <laughs> <laughs> like everything's in a stream. Mark, I'm so proud of you. She's proud of me for taking a little white pill of drugs, but probably if I'd fought at Goose Green, she wouldn't want to know. In fact, mate, I could do with a few pointers on how to be a druggie. Oh, Mark, <laughs> why didn't you bang one? Because I don't want to wake up dribbling in a phone box with a trucker's penis in my ear. Mark, that is so not the ear experience. It's more likely to wake up with depression and a sense of worthlessness. But tonight, all that crap you talk when you're off your noggin, I never really listened. And, and how should I say I'm feeling? OK, look, like, when you're coming up, it's kind of... 
yeah? And then you're just... I mean, Terrible everything description. Everything you do is just kind of... Okay, thanks. Hey, Mark, how are you doing? Are you feeling it yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling... <laughs> really? Can I get you some water? No, 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 it, it's, it's good. Everything's gone sort of bubbly. It, it's like I'm trapped inside a, a giant arrow. I know exactly what you mean. He's taking it up. Take, taking it up. Taking it up. Taking it up. Taking it down. Taking it down. What a nightmare. Taking it down. down. This yeah. guy is literally a moron. <laughs> You're on it, man. <laughs> We're on it. We're brothers. Yeah. Ah. Oh, God, the sweaty grip of the moron. Okay, that's it. Turn the music down. You can stop smoking your drugs. I'm making tea and toast for Sophie. I'm putting on Radio 4. Everything's normal. I'm not really high on drugs, so you can stop talking your nonsense on my time. <laughs> What's the problem, man? Can't we just chill? No, you sure. can't. You've been chilling long enough. This is reality calling. But, but what about you and me? The bond? There is no bond. It's only the miracle of consumer capitalism that means you're not lying in your own shit, dying at 43 with rotten teeth, and a little pill with a chicken on it is not going to change that. Now, come on. Fuck off. Bollocks. <laughs> I can apologise for how I've done that, but I could never apologise for telling the truth. And the truth is that this woman is evil! And if we let her go today, we are going to be responsible for whatever she does, so help me God and let the Lord be my witness. Okay, I buy it. Um, let's just say guilty. Yeah, I, I'm with him. Oh yeah, justice is done. Not actual justice, but what I wanted to happen, which is basically the same thing. Just if, if, if you want to be a major player, you, you, you've got to apply yourself more and be more punctual. Hug? We'll laugh about this. No, you won't. Unless it kills the relationship stone dead, which it probably will. Damn. Man. <laughs> that was a decent episode, man. I didn't laugh as hard as I usually do on something like the other stuff. It was just um, a few like funny moments, but it was still a really good episode. And, you know, it's not always about, like, you know, the laughter. But I like his little, the rant he went on, like, with the druggies and stuff like that. i say my favorite part of this episode was that rant he went on with, like, the druggies in the living room. That was really funny. How cold, like, Jazz would do whatever whatever he can to get out of a relationship. That dude does not care. Even though the chick was bogus and crazy. <laughs> he was ready, like, to destroy that whole lady's life just so he wanted to, uh, like, sleep with her anymore because he was scared. But, yeah, she was crazy, though. So, I kind of, can. I guess I can kind of see... You know, Jazz is bogus sometimes. I can kind of, like, see why he did it. And I really do get why. I get why Sophie was pissed off in the end, though. That's one thing. You don't cross that. You don't cross the whole work relationship thing. Now, you can give some advice. Uh, but that's one thing I like. I don't like if, if the if the person asks for advice. But Tay's career is her own. If she asks me for advice, I'll give it. But I don't go out there telling her, like, um, you should really wake up earlier so you won't be late for work. Like, you shouldn't call off the day. That has nothing to do with me. It is her career. She can do her whatever she wants when she does. Not saying Tay doesn't do that kind of stuff, you know? Like, call off or show up late all the time and stuff, but I wouldn't get involved if she did. I give it advice when she asks for it. Like, if she's accumulated sick days, she wants to use one, that's up to her. She accumulated them. She earned the sick days. You get so many lakes, if some, one day she's, like, running late and not feeling good or something like that, it is what it is. I wouldn't, like, as soon as, like, Johnson asked me to do it, I'm like, nah, bud, I can't cross that line. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cross this thing. You're not going to call us, like, turmoil in my relationship because, um, whoever her boss is, the guy who she called a dick or whatever, uh, can't sit down and have a conversation with her. Like, he needs to do that. That has nothing to do with me. So, and yeah, man. Overall, good episode. Like I said, I didn't laugh as hard as I did with some of the other episodes, but it's not always about that. Sometimes it's just about continuing the story and, like, you know, those good moments. So, it's decent. All right, guys, that is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day, great Halloween, and hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.